guests. We have Arthi J. Raman and we have Jennifer Johnson from the University of Delaware NRT program. Welcome, ladies. Hi, how you doing? It, it feels crazy, <laughs> like having JJ on I, that I, side. I know. It's share, weird share being on the, the receiving end. Share with the viewers that are tuning in, because yeah. we do have some new viewers now yes. watching Good Morning yeah. Wilmington. Share with well, everyone. Well, JJ, yeah, yeah. JJ, first of all, JJ and I met approximately maybe 10 years ago. Give or take, yeah. Give or take 10 years ago at the University of Delaware, at the University at um, Del Tech. Del Tech. At mm -hmm. Del Tech. And um, we became good friends. And when I decided to do Good Morning Wilmington on Channel 28, mm -hmm. I reached out to JJ, like, JJ, <laughs> I need you. And, and uh, I think you did about eight, eight, about a year. Close I did, to a year. I did, yeah, a whole season. A yeah. whole season mm -hmm. of um, Good Morning Wilmington. And it just feels crazy now, like to have yeah, her like right. on the other side. You know, right. it's I weird would, being on the other side. <laughs> well, I was excited, so I was able. The first time I was on set at DETV for the Good Morning Wilmington show was probably over a year ago mm -hmm. now. And my title holders, the Miss Delaware USA and Miss Delaware Teen USA at the time, Drew San Clemente and mm -hmm. Sky Knox, they were being interviewed. By you. By me. Yeah. And so I was able to meet you for the first time. So fast forward to today. Now you're on the other end and we're very excited to have you on the show. Both yes, of you on the yes. show. So we need to go back to go why back, we're go here. Go back here. Dive we're in. We're going to have a toast yes. and everything. Yeah. And so JJ moved on to, to um, amazing things mm -hmm. at the University, University of Delaware. University of Delaware, yeah. Yes. Um, so let's talk about what, what are you doing there? Well, the, the really cool thing is, is that very soon after I left Good Morning Wilmington, because my schedule was just too crazy and I had another opportunity, I actually produced an independent film. Mm -hmm. um, very soon after that, I actually got to meet this lovely woman oh. um, who had reached out. I, I had applied for a position they she started a brand new well the University of Delaware just launched a brand new NRT program okay. mm -hmm. um, that was getting ready to sort of launch the first cohort in January so I was mm -hmm. brought in towards the end of December mm -hmm. as okay. the program coordinator for nice. this program and for me I have no science background as you know I'm all business entrepreneurship mm -hmm. entertainment <laughs> right, right. Um, no science background but there is such a beautiful um, relationship between business and science so for me I'm always really excited about it she is definitely the brains uh -oh. <laughs> behind okay. it all Okay. Um, okay. And she can probably speak a little bit, definitely speak more to okay. what the NRT program is. So, Arlie, yeah. go ahead. Sure. Um, first of all, thank you for having us. Uh, nice. It's a great uh, way for us to share about our program, which is yeah. in its first year. Um, so I'm a professor uh, in chemical engineering and in material science and engineering at the University of Delaware. And uh, my research expertise is in combining computing, data science, and materials together. So I'm very passionate about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so about two years mm -hmm. ago, we had an opportunity to write a grant to National Science Foundation um, that has this national research traineeship program. Mm -hmm. So they'd like to give funds to universities and partnerships. For example, our NRT, National mm -hmm. Research Traineeship, mm -hmm. is a partnership between UD, University of Delaware, mm -hmm. and Delaware State. Okay. So oh, they love to yeah. create partnerships like that, mm -hmm. uh, which allows uh, us to create a platform to mm -hmm. train our next workforce, right? Mm -hmm. um, so because my passion is in computing, data science, and materials, and I love graduate education, I love mentoring students. Mm -hmm. I said, why not channel all of that together towards this program? We applied uh, for a grant and we got it. Mm -hmm. So we are in our first year and it's an interdisciplinary graduate traineeship okay. uh, for graduate students, both at University of Delaware, and they can be in chemical engineering, material science, chemistry, mm -hmm. computer science, or they could be at Delaware State University in chemistry. And they're all participating together mm -hmm. to get all relevant technical training, mm -hmm. professional skills, to be prepared for the next career and be successful. Wow, so yeah, that's wow. what the program is. So this is, a, this is really uh, an incredible program that uh -huh. University of Delaware is offering. Yeah. yeah. And it seems like it's f full of information, right. of mm -hmm. some, you know, because I never heard about it. Right. Yeah. And right. as I, you know, before the, you know, before we started the show, I wanted to yeah. go over to Arthi and mm -hmm. Jen and I wanted to talk more about it because it was something new to me mm -hmm. and I, I didn't quite understand it. So I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure I was understanding mm -hmm. it and what the program was offering. Now, mm -hmm. Is it offered just to University of Delaware students or outside of that? University of Delaware students as well as Delaware State Del State, Del State mm -hmm. students. Okay. Um, and um, a lot of the components are offered to the students who are part of the program, mm -hmm. but it's also offered to any student on University of Delaware campus and any mm -hmm. student at Delaware State who wants to come and take classes with us that we've developed for the program. So it's open to enroll students at UD and DSU. Um, but there's a big community component to it as well, which we will get to in a little bit, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, let, let's get to it. Yeah. <laughs> so jump on in. Jump on in. Let's uh, get to it. Well, uh, one of the things that's great and a part of 
sort of the way that ARTHI designed this program. And one of the things that the National Science Foundation really wants to mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. is community outreach from these trainees. That's what I was going to add, right? Yeah, That's and you know me, on. I'm all about yeah. community. So, yeah. you know, she kind of let me take the rein on that a little bit and, and work with the trainees to develop their plan on, well, how are they going to, because they really can choose, they could have chosen any way, mm -hmm. any method to do community outreach. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, incorporating, you know, their research and the elements that they're they're learning about. So. Uh, after a couple brainstorming sessions, one of the things they came up with is educational videos. Mm. Um, and so what they're doing over the course of the summer, we've decided to call it the summer of science, NRT mm -hmm. summer of science. Mm -hmm. uh, each, we have 10 trainees in our first cohort and they've all decided to pair up. So we have five different videos. And what they're doing is they're taking their research, elements of their research, and sharing it with the community. Right, okay. right. And one of the things that they are doing, which I think is great, is they've really had to think about, well, who's my audience? Right. So um, mm. there's a, each one of these videos really targets a different age range, a different mm -hmm. group of people. Mm -hmm. Our very first one actually was released on Friday, July 8th. Um, and you can check it out on our YouTube channel, the NRT Midas YouTube channel, as well as you can see it on our Twitter page, which mm -hmm. is at NRT Midas. Mm -hmm. Um, the very first one was actually about recycling and upcycling and how plastics are made. And so it's really, really informative and educational. Uh, I learned new things about plastic that I didn't right, know. Right, right. Um, and because obviously working with these trainees, I've, I've learned a lot. And mm -hmm. so uh, from young children to parents, everybody can, can appreciate that. And that's what I was going to ask. Let's talk about the benefits of this program. Right. Right? Sure. Right. Because that's what people want to know. Right. And I know you right. voted in the grant, right. and, and, right. and or the word impact. That's, exactly. that's, that's That is the yes. word that's in the, that makes sure you get funded in the yes. grant, right. is impact. Yeah. What impact does this, does this program have? So it's, it's, there are many aspects to it. So mm -hmm. one of the things is we are addressing the needs for chemical industries right now. They want to make the next best product fast and in an informed manner. So by training the students to be the next workforce, we are mm -hmm. preparing them to have the skills that is needed to quickly come up with better materials mm -hmm. fast and getting it to the community, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously industries benefit from that. And if industries make better products, we get a better shampoo, we get a better soap, mm -hmm. we get a better mm -hmm. right. medical device. So that's one way of creating an impact and teaching students how to talk to each other despite coming from different technical backgrounds, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is a very critical skill in that progress. Mm -hmm. right. um, so that's one thing. And the other thing is, as, as Jen was saying, something that's very common for both of us in terms of passion is making sure science is accessible. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's not a, oh, scientist in a lab mm -hmm. coat sitting in their lab. It is impacting all of us mm -hmm. and that it's a good thing. We can right. learn a lot from it. So the Summer of Science series was sort of a passion for us to get that science out there to everyone to love and to see the mm. cool aspects of it, things that get me excited. Yeah. I see she she's bubbling now, she's and you said she was nervous. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> um, we have a video. Yes. We have a video mm. real quick we're going we're gonna sure, to yeah. go take okay. a look at. We'll be right, uh, hold tight, check this video out. Funding provided by the National Science Foundation. So now that we're in the lab, we can do the shrinking plastic experiment. And so we have three different kinds of plastic. Okay. Um, this one's called PET. This one is from polystyrene. And this one is polypropylene. So three different kinds of plastic. And then what we have here is this fancy thing is just an oven that has been preheated to um, 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. And so what we're going to do is this is just a little tray I made out of tin foil. And so we're going to put our plastics on the tray. I'm going to put on some heat resistant gloves <laughs> just for safety. And open the oven. I open the oven. <laughs> and put our plastics in for about a minute. And then let's see what happens. Okay, so now okay. we can open it up. Give smell the lovely. Well, I say I can, but I can smell it. Okay. Right. Well, it's a whole cup. Yeah. It's now shrunk down, and it's still hot. I can actually move it around and shape it. But soon it will be cool enough that it will just be hard plastic. So it'll be shrunk down. So this one kind of plastic versus this yogurt cup, totally fine. Yeah. It hasn't moved at all. And your water bottle has only just shrunk in a little bit. Wow. So, that's why the kinds of different plastic matter for when you're going to reprocessing it into a new kind of bottle or something. 
Okay, so explain yes. to me, what did we just see right, right there? Yes, yes. So what you had to say, and one of the cool things about this particular video mm -hmm. that was done by two of our trainees was they, their passions really are about recycling, waste, mm -hmm. upcycling. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that they showed mm -hmm. us was a small experiment that even like parents can do at home with kids to mm -hmm. show them that there's different types of plastics. Mm -hmm. right. And when you recycle them, it really matters what types of plastic, the, the, the type of plastic matters because they have to be broken down differently right. or how they're going to be repurposed. So okay. that was a really cool experiment that Allison and Jamil did. They okay. are two of our trainers. And you can see all these all these um, videos where? Mm -hmm. um, you can actually, you can catch it. We are, our Twitter page is probably one of the easiast to follow, which is at NRT Midas, mm -hmm. M-I-D-A-S. Mm -hmm. um, we release them every Friday. So every okay. Friday you can catch new video. I really like that because it paints the picture. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a visual learner. I'm yes. a visual person and I think many people are too mm -hmm. and you're able to paint the picture and take advantage of social media which you are doing. Right. Um, you're able to really get that message out. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also maybe gain people to enter the program as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm sure there's, it's, you know, all these benefits right. of social media, the positive side of right. social media. Yes. Right. Yeah. And just one more thing to add. If the audience does watch the video, yes. um, one thing we would okay. love for you guys to do is just help us out. There is a small survey after mm -hmm. each video and it really helps the trainees mm -hmm. learn um, next steps, like what did they do well and right, stuff like right. that. So. All right, do me a favor, community camera. Go ahead, you got, you got 30 <laughs> seconds to talk about whatever you want to, want to know 30 about, seconds to talk about, about NRT. <laughs> All right, what do you want to say? Um, I think science is cool. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a scientist, um, but I'm very relatable. I think my, our trainees whose videos you will see will show you what is cool about what they do and why that impacts you as a viewer. Uh, so I'm excited about that aspect. And uh, the future trainees, if you're excited about this, apply to UD, apply to DSU, and we hope to have you in our program. Love to meet you. And like I said, uh, check out the uh, videos that come out every single Friday. Um, at, and you can find them at our Twitter page, which is at NRT Midas, M-I-D-A-S. And don't forget to take the survey when you're done. Excellent. I love it. You have to come back to tell yes, us, to, give, to fill us in yes. with mm -hmm. more info on how, how it's going. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what else can we do as a community yes. to, to participate in and make it better? Yes. I, I'm, I'm super excited. I, I was, I, did I tell you I used to be a scientist? Like no. in my like third life. Third no. life. No, not the second, the third one. But <laughs> what it the... wouldn't surprise me. Right. Right. So join our program then. Yeah. Come on. I mean they're list. cooking up everything. <laughs> 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 well, thank you ladies so much yes, for coming. Yes, thank you guys. Um, and I give them the website it. real quick where they can um, check out. Uh out. The, so our website would be what is it? It's Udell Sites S I T E S dot Udell dot E D U slash N R T. Midas. But the easiest is, as, as Jen said, Twitter handle is at NRT Midas. Yep. Love it. Love it. What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ive, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com. And I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. <laughs> we just stopped by to tell you to be sure if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which he said, <laughs> 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.